Hey guys, it's Ashley. Today we are going to be getting my social media planner set up for the month of January. And what I've done here is I went ahead and I have pre-planned out the month. The only thing that I didn't finish was what video I'm going to post on the 5th. I'm not so sure on that one yet, so that's something that um, I will have to figure out. But other than that, I think I have the month planned out fully and ready to go. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. All of my planner supplies come from the Happy Planner and I will link as much as I can down below in the description box if you wanna check it out. But let's go ahead and get to planning. So I have the Jewel Tone Boxes sticker book and I also have the Floral sticker book. This one has got these really pretty blue um, floral stickers in here and I think I'm gonna use those for the month of January because it's still winter, it's still cold outside and the blues have this like cool tone to them so I'm really loving them. I think those will look really, really cute. And then the dual tone boxes is what I'm gonna use uh, for my YouTube videos. So I like to pre-plan with sticky notes. I just take these little tiny sticky notes. Let me show you. I have a bunch of these little sticky notes and I take them, I rip them in half and that is how I pre-plan out my month. Now on the sticky notes, always write the date on them. Um, I have in the past taken the sticky notes off and was planning out the month and then I, I don't know I got sidetracked or something and I got up from here and I come back and I was like oh my gosh what goes where so that's my tip always put the date on your sticky note if you pre plan with sticky notes that way if they get lost you're not trying to re refigure out where everything goes so let's go ahead and get started and we're gonna start with the floral sticker book and I also by the way grabbed the gold sticker book I'm not sure if I'll use it or not So how do we want to do this? I didn't really decide what blue stickers I was going to use for the month. I'm just kind of flipping through to see what all is here and kind of figure out what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to cover up this up here that says note and I'm going to use one of these box stickers to do it I don't know if I want to use actually that one's really cute it says be like a flower and reach for the sun I love it love it love it so we are going to cover this pink box up got some really pretty copper foiling on it really cute this is an extra sticky note I had so we can take that one off of there oh wait a second let's do this pretty blue flower down here Hey, it's voiceover Ashley. Here in just a second, you can hear a fun little conversation between me and my son. Yeah, bud. What are you doing? Huh? Okay. I'll be honest with you. Normally what I do whenever me and him start talking while I film I will hold myself still and then I will cut it out of the video and I usually cut it out of the video because we have longer conversations. That one was a pretty short one and I just wanted to share with you guys that that is usually what happens and it's just mom life and it's all good but usually I try to cut them out because our conversations are much longer. Okay so every Monday I have a team call so I am a health and fitness coach and on Mondays we have our team call so we all hop on there together we talk about goals we talk about what's working what's not working how to improve just all sorts of different things sometimes we just get on there and we laugh with each other sometimes we talk planners it's just it's just kind of go with the flow type situation um love my team though and hi guys if you're watching this but um on mondays i am going to put these navy blue dots whoops sorry to represent 
my team calls. All right, now I'm gonna go into the Joel Tone boxes. We're gonna see what blue ones we have. There's also the copper ones, which match these stickers really well, so I might use some of those. But I'm gonna use the boxes to note my YouTube videos, and the YouTube videos are the ones in blue. Hey, it's voiceover Ashley again. What I really wanted to do was use more of the blue stickers instead of the copper, but because I didn't have very many of the blue ones, I decided to make two rows of them, like the center row that I'm pulling up now, I put the blue stickers there, and then the two other rows of video ideas, I am going to use the copper stickers. I may mention this later on in the video, I'm not sure, I'm not that far yet with editing, but normally I stray away from any kind of sticker that has a lot of foiling on it because it's really hard to take photos of and showcase how pretty it is. So normally I just kind of stay away from them, but after I did these copper boxes, I am in love. Even if you can't see it whenever I take an Instagram photo, like why is that so important, right? We need to be decorating our planners with stickers that we love, even if they're hard to photograph. And after this, I realized that, and I will definitely be using more of copper foiling. I like the copper way better than the gold foiling, but I am loving it, and I'm definitely going to start using more of it. And that, paired with that navy blue, ah, I'm in love! All right, before I start decorating any further, I'm gonna take the sticky notes and I'm gonna write what's on the sticky note here on the box sticker. Now, I do get some comments, people asking me why I rewrite this stuff twice, like why I pre-plan and then I rewrite the exact same stuff and why not just write it once? Well, I pre-plan so I can see like, some of these weeks I have videos that take a lot of time and I try to pair those up with videos that don't take quite as much, if that makes sense. And if I just start writing out videos and then I realize, wait a minute, I have too much going on this week. There's, you know, let's say I wanted to do three videos and they were all videos that I had a ton of content planned for. Maybe it was a lot of B-roll and a lot of footage that I had to film and maybe voiceovers and stuff like that. It gets too much and it gets overwhelming. Then I get behind and I don't complete the tasks that I need to do. So I like to pre-plan so I can move things around and adjust them as needed. So if, it, if you're wondering like, why are you rewriting this stuff multiple times? That is why pre-planning is a lifesaver in my opinion. But if you don't want to pre-plan, you do not have to. It is totally optional. I do recommend it though, but you definitely don't have to. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer everything from the sticky notes into the boxes. All right, let's talk pens for a second. The current pen that I am loving is a Sharpie S gel in 0.5. And no, this is not sponsored by them. I just wanna share that with you guys. I'm actually using it in this video. But I recently seen on Amazon that the Sharpie S gels are now available in the 0.38, which I am definitely ordering because I love a good thin pen. It helps me to write smaller and neater so I can fit more things into like the boxes and stuff. So I'm definitely gonna be getting those, but I will link all of my favorite pins down below in the description box. 
there's not a lot of them. There's a the Muji pen, there's the Signo, there's the Sharpie S gel, and potentially another one. I just cannot remember off the top of my head, but I will link my favorite pens down below. And for the Sharpie S gels, I'll link both the 0 0.5 and the 0 0.38. So if you like a good thinner pen, you can check it out. Alright, so I have everything wrote down. Like I said, on the 5th, I'm not sure, I'm not for sure what video I'm going to do yet. So I still need to plan for that one. Now, normally I don't do personal kind of birthdays or family birthdays inside of here. But I did want to write down my son's 8th birthday because I'm putting that in every planner because that's super exciting. And then also there's a girl on my team who has a birthday this month as well. So we're going to put a box sticker there and I think... I might go with a pinkish one. Ooh, this color is really pretty. Very pretty. Okay, let's pull that sticker up though. Oh, that's so cute. And then as things come up through the month, I think those are going to be the colors that I go for and adding box stickers inside of here. That way, keep everything cohesive. So what I am going to do is I have that sticky note that I didn't end up using. And we're going to write down jewel tone boxes. And I think this one is called what? Florals. And I'm just going to stick that over here to the side so I know what sticker books I use. So as things come up, I can add them in. And then from here, I'm just going to do a little bit more decorating. The first is New Year's Day, so I'm going to take this one, we're going to put it down, and then this sticker says, if the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but never the goal. And I think that's really, really cute for the new year. Thirteenth is National Sticker Day, and I'm just going to put a sticker beside it. All right, and then the last thing I think I'm going to do is take this box sticker. 
and I'm going to put it over here. And then I will probably do, actually let me grab it really quickly. So here's the fun alphabet sticker book. I'm going to take the calligraphy letters that are in here, right here. We're going to put goals at the top and then I'm going to write down a couple of goals for the month. Actually, I'm just going to put goal and I'm going to focus on one goal for the month. There we go. That looks cute. And then I will write the goal in right there. So I think that's going to be it. I'm going to leave it where it is. This is probably the most I've ever used copper foiling in one spread. And I'm digging it. I really am. I think it's really pretty. I normally honestly kind of avoid foiling because it's really hard to take photos of. But man, it looks so stinking cute. I love it. Now the only other thing I'm going to do, and I'll do this off camera, is I take a card and I go over my clear stickers just to help get the bubbles out so it you can't really see the bubbles there. So I'll do that off camera, but that's going to be it, you guys. I, I'm i loving this layout. Like This turned out so stinking cute. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you can see whenever I have my new videos up. I've got some fun things planned for the month of January. Actually, I've got some fun things planned for 2021, some big goals set, and I cannot wait to share all the things with you guys. But for now, that is going to be my spread for January of 2021. I am super pumped for it. It turned out so stinking cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section. Have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.